Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a brand new video. Today's vlog, we are having a little weekend break away in York, so I hope you enjoy, stick around, subscribe, let's see what we got up to.
it's been quite some time since I checked in with you. I basically had a wander around York, looked in loads of charity shops, didn't buy anything apart from that magnet that I showed you. A couple of presents for my brother for Christmas, which I cannot show you unfortunately because he does watch my channel. Um, but I wanted to show you my outfit before we go out for dinner. We're literally just going to a beef eater for dinner because they've got a festive menu with a vegan roast dinner and I am literally drooling at the thought of it. So I cannot wait for that. So I'm going to show you my outfit. Firstly, I look very girly. So I'm wearing a really cute bow. I've put my hair up like this because I was watching the panto last night. I actually vlogged that for the first week of Vlogmas. Out for the weekly vlogs. Um, and the main character of Cinderella had her hair like this. And I thought it was the cutest thing ever. And I was like, okay, need to recreate it in my own way. Obviously with a little bit of fringe. So I've done that. Very, very cute. So my dress that I'm wearing tonight is from is from Cupshe. So I will leave this link down below alongside a discount code. This was featured in my latest haul as well. So I'll leave that link down below. I've got my little Chanel bag as per usual. And then I've got my guest boots Pulled them back out again. I literally love navy and cream. It looks so nice together. Little beige bow and um, we're good to go. Great the tree, only you and me. I'll be making plans, make you understand. I'm not gonna play it safe. dinner at the beef eater and unfortunately it wasn't very nice which we were good about adam's burger was cold <laughs> the garlic bread was cold my roast potatoes were not roasting whatsoever <laughs> um so that was unfortunate so adam got a new burger and we got a new garlic bread but they brought the garlic bread out which was vegan garlic bread by the way um and adam's burger was meat and they put it on the same plate and they said is that okay and we were like well no um so yeah that's not very good but obviously after um an evening out where did we go to tesco for the bargains I and then no bargains so we've decided to get some face masks adam's having this one and i'm having this one Look how cute that is. And that one. Oh! Look at the morgues. Oh, it's the wrong way around. That is so cute. Yeah, I wouldn't use it though. I like these. Cute. On oh, that little thing there. I'm trying to like talk over so I don't get copyrighted. And we're back at the hotel. And I put you on the weirdest tripod going. I've used my BHA toner <laughs> to put you on a tripod. And um, I'm hoping it doesn't slip because it's on an angle. But I thought I'd just do my skincare with you. So I just got my pyjamas on. Hair is still wavy, surprisingly, from last night. But I've got a full face of makeup on. You know you, when you feel like you've not been enough places for it to be um, worth doing? So I feel like I've completely wasted my makeup. But <laughs> this is how I do my hair when um, I've curled it. So that I don't get rid of the curls in a burn. I just like plonk it like this. <laughs> so I'm just going to use my L'Occitane, um, is it oil to milk? Yeah, to get rid of my makeup and literally melt it off my face. Um, yeah, now I'm going to make myself basically a mess. Ooh. The, the way it literally melts this off is insane. Like, I know this is like TMI, but look how much it's literally melting off my face right now. That is mad. I'm going to look so strange in a second. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the fact I put myself on the internet like this. But I'm real. Everyone does this. <laughs> Let's watch it off. I always double cleanse. So I've done this now. And I'll still go in with my cleanser. Oh, that looks really strange on my skin. So I do actually have my travel cleanser with me, which is the Ritual one, where is it? Which is this one. But Adam actually brought this one, I didn't realise. So I'm just going to use my usual one. This is from Aldi, by the way. It's basically a dupe of the Lizelle Hot Cloth Cleanser. 
do that oh my god like i love doing my skincare over makeup any day i absolutely love skincare like i i go five days a week not wearing any makeup because i love to just be able to rub my face <laughs> and itch and not have to like rub my makeup off i'm not going anywhere i literally just go to work and go home and things so there's no point in me even putting any makeup on i don't even bother with mascara anymore in the week i just much prefer to be makeup free and i feel confident in my own skin to say that the towel i need is on there so i have brought my trusty loxetan serum with me if you guys watched my wholesome weekend vlog where i showed you my skincare routine you would understand how much i rave about this because it is brilliant i've used it no word of a lie for years as part of my skincare routine and i absolutely love it, love it. I always go back to it. It's just like a drink for your skin, it's great. And then I also brought with me, where did I put it? For some reason I put it in Adam's wash bag, but I'm using this Moisture Boost moisturizer, which I showed you again in the last vlog. I'm getting through this rather well, as you can see. It's not, well, it's like half of it left to be fair. So I am gonna do my skincare, and then we're gonna watch Transformers on the telly. I think it's the second one. Babe. What Transformers is that? Yeah, we're watching Transformers Dark of the Moon on the telly. And I'm going to eat some snacks. I've also edited videos on the way here today, which has been very, very productive. So I'm very happy with that. Um, so eat some snacks, watch a good film, go to bed basically. Because we're not the sort of people to go out anymore. How times have changed. Just much prefer a night in over a night out. Just the way I am. So, yeah, I will catch you guys in the morning. I really hope you enjoyed the vlog so far. Tomorrow we are planning to go to Harrogate, Harrogate? I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, so, we always wanted to go there. So, we're going to go there in the morning and then basically head towards home to do a food shop, do a little washing. Um, yeah, it's only like a quick trip, this is. So, I hope you enjoyed it so far. I'll catch you in the morning. Good morning everyone, it is now Sunday. We're all ready to go out of the hotel to Harrogate today. I'm wearing a, of course, I'm always in Holland Cooper. So I'm wearing a Holland Cooper jumper as per usual. Um, I'm wearing a H&M skirt. I've got my new boots on that I didn't even show you in my last vlog. Let me just show you them. So these are the boots that I mentioned at the end of my Coxwells vlog that I didn't get to show you. I've got this for 15 pound in the charity shop. Brand new. They literally look like Fairfax and Faber boots. And they're nice and flat. I've been looking for a pair of boots like this for ages. Literally, look at that. Brand new, never been worn, so really happy with those. As you can tell from the painting behind me, we stayed in a travel lodge. But we stayed in travel lodge Tadcaster because all of the hotels in York were like £300 a night. And this was like £123 a night, I think. So it was where it's obviously it's very much out of the way from York, but it was so much cheaper doing it that way. So we've got a Greg's outside, so Adam's gonna get a coffee. I'm gonna see if there's anything I can eat in there. Before we head off to Harrogate, we're gonna go see a landmark in Harrogate. I can't remember the name of it. And then have a little wander around there, do some shopping potentially because it's a Primark again. <laughs> um, and yeah, see where the day takes us. And I uh, hope you enjoy the vlog so far. So, slight dilemma. We went to get a Greg's and I realised that my front tyre is flat. So, we've got a nail through the tyre. I've just tried two quick fix, uh, quick fits in York and they didn't have time to do it today. And they're fully booked. And thankfully, because we're going to Harrogate, there's a quick fit there and they're able to slot us in but they said it's for one o'clock but we're gonna get there for 11. they said they're gonna try and squeeze it in for us um and thankfully they've got my tire size in stock so fingers crossed it'll be all okay but we just realized it's actually gonna save us money on parking as much as oh that's a nice range right blue one um so yeah it might actually work out in our favor because we're gonna one save money on parking two it's in the center and three we'll probably be in harrogate for a few hours anyway so might as well get the tires done so hopefully it'll work out We're just having a walk around Harrogate whilst we wait for the car. It's gonna cost me two hundred pound. <laughs> Blimey nail in my tire. It's fine. It's fine. When he comes back around, it's all right. It gets us home as long as we're safe. It's all good. Reminds me of something gone. 
time to go get the car and head home. And just like that, we're back home and it's time to put the magnet on the fridge. Add it to the collection of magnets that we have on here. I showed you these um, quite a while ago, didn't I? Who remembers all of these ones? Well, not all of them, mainly these two, the, the latest ones. I didn't really film the other ones from years ago, but yeah, new addition. So to add to our palaver today, we came back and the boiler had an issue, so we've just fixed that. We were going to call a, a plumber, but then um, a friend of ours said, no, it's actually so easy to fix. So we had um, an issue on the boiler here. It said F1 and it was literally just the water pressure. So all I've done is um, looked at the manual, obviously with Adam's help, um, and basically, I'll just show you what in case anyone else has these issues so this is under the boiler i know this is like not exciting in the slightest but like the heating loop is here this is for anyone that's got like their own home and they see this issue themselves on like an ideal heater we've got the ideal logic combi s s135 and basically this little heating loop here this little valve um turner thing i basically pulled it this way and then pulled the other one both a quarter away until the boiler pressure got to 1.5 and we fixed it. <laughs> I know like some people watching that's like maybe plumbers or something um, are thinking that it's the easiest thing ever, but we didn't know what to do. Um, so that's the first time we've had to do it. So there's an insight into real adult life. <laughs> we had to fix the boiler as well today is get new tires. But thankfully we knew how to do it. And if it happens again, we know how to do it. We know how to sort the pressure out because we aren't plumbers. So yeah, there, there's an interesting fact for you. If you have that issue with your boiler, if you've got the same as us, that's how you fix it if you've got that problem. <laughs> now, what I'm going to do is basically put a load of washing on. So we need to get through that. I know that like this is like an interesting ending to the vlog, but um, we've got a big massive pile of washing. I've got a dark load and a light load to do. Just a dark load tonight that we're going to put on and then I'll put a light load on in the morning. Oh, I just realised I didn't put my little beads in there and my other things. So we've got like these beads and um, these the cool the like biodegradable sheets that like fragrance things adam's mom got them um us and they're actually quite good so um i put them in there i also put some beads in which we get from aldi just half a cap in there because we've got that other one and i need a washing tablet i've actually stopped my subscription from small because i think because they're odorless I think it's not helping get rid of the smell on the clothes and they're like I don't know whether you guys remember me mentioning in another vlog um that when we dry the clothes around the house they just smell like wet dog and we don't even own a dog so um we've started getting some new ones so we use these instead I can't remember the call I think they're aerial or fairy they're not aerial because it'd be green then it might be the fairy ones was it the surf? No, surf, that was it. That's <laughs> me wiggling it. Um, but I'm trying to use this up at the moment, the biodegradable small ones. They are really good for the environment, but I think um, they should bring out some scent ones. They might already do them, but I just wanted to change because I've been using them for like the last two and a half years. So I also need to put some fabric conditioner in there. Wow, well, this is the <laughs> this is so exciting. But this is real life. Like we have the tires that we're doing today that cost me over 200 pound. Great. Good job we get paid next week. Um, the reality of adult life and owning a car, right? <laughs> and then we come home and then the boiler has a little bit of a fit. But thankfully we fixed it and it wasn't a major issue. So I'm very grateful the fact that we're safe and sound back home. We fix the heating. We can get some nice clean clothes going. And we can get some nice dinner because we can use the gas. So very grateful the fact that we could fix that. All is well. We're all good. Put the washing on. And enjoy the evening and I also on the way home i edited my cotswold vlog um before my laptop died because i forgot to charge it <laughs> at the hotel last night and i also got through my panto review um that i needed to do for the cinderella panto which i mentioned in my weekly vlogmas which i'll be starting after this vlog oh yeah the panto was really good i mentioned it in my vlogmas vlog anyway but it was incredible if you are from coventry or from, sorry this is really off personal isn't it um if you're from coventry or the west midlands and you're looking for a really good panto to see the bar grade is the one to go to honestly it's so great i've been to it every single year and it is brilliant so i highly recommend sorry for me waffling but i'm just like doing the washing as i chat to you so normal life normal everyday life not every day is a glamorous day as we can see 
in the UD. <laughs> now we're gonna go chill out, watch the telly, I'm gonna get a review up for tomorrow morning enjoy the evening so i will end the vlog here i really hope you have enjoyed it sorry for this like weird part at the end but i hope you enjoyed coming to york and harrogate with us it's been a lovely weekend even though, even though things have gone wrong we always see the positive sides to everything and always grateful for us to be safe healthy and a roof over our heads so hope you enjoyed it if you have please do give it a big thumbs up comment down below don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you very very soon for a brand new video Bye. Good, good time.